Alrighty y'all, day after doing the walkthrough, obviously not lit up and everything, there's our wonderful purse. It's kind of awesome to think of how old it is and it's still in such a great quality. And of course the wind is being the wind and all the tombstones are down. But that is okay, <laughs> that one right there, like wee! Uh, that is a-okay, because it's time to start breaking it all down, and this cemetery is going to be the first one to go. Also, I want to do a daytime walkthrough to see, well, what got left behind besides a hot Cheeto. <laughs> That's so nasty. I don't know if I did an official daytime walkthrough once it was finished, so let's do that now. Yay, there's some light at least. I'm just glad. I don't know why it wasn't working the first day, but we did get that ground fogger working. Very nice, very nice. Oh, I love this. It worked so good, and with the dim lighting, the uh, the breaks and the holes, they look pretty funny. We had quite a few drops and losses. Let me leave this open a little bit, see if we can see anything dropped. Of course, this thing is much brighter than what I can actually see. So I'm going to zoom in. Okay, it's like a flower. That's just from the other room. I don't see anything in here. I'm not sure what that thing right over there is. <laughs> but this is our tight and dark room. Uh, there's like some fur. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I didn't put that in the haunted house. <laughs> it's so gross. Ah, yes. Yeah, these little peepholes and stuff, they work really good. They're great distractions and stuff. And I think you can see them. Yes, these dangly bits here, they're so gross. I was calling them tentacles. What they really are is when I was trimming the uh, the fitted sheets, the uh, elastic part off, boink, I'm like, hey, that's really gross. Let's reuse it. So we did. And then this is just some plastic that you would use to wrap up a pallet from my workplace. But the greenish color gave it a creepy tint. Okay, let's go back through here. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. We actually did not have anyone trip or fall on this. I'm so happy. Uh, definitely want to use it more in the future, but I think I won't do a raised bridge. That part was uh, kind of tedious, and it definitely used up a lot of the screws. So we got these duct tape bodies here. Woo, we just pulled that up. <laughs> yes, yes. Wind, I hear you, I hear you. But you're going to drop rain on me tomorrow, so we're not going to do that. We had an actor that could hide back there, or back here. This was really good for like scaring because once they'd come around here then the actor could blah, get him again. It was great. Just great. Oh, the pig head ended up in here. Got another hanging body. Drop panel. As you can see I didn't put those in the right spot but it's all good and now I know exactly where they go. And the actor could also hide right here. So there's lots of different places. <laughs> oh gosh. Busted eyeballs. That's for sure. Wow, I don't know if people were ripping eyeballs off or what. Uh, spiders, definitely, um, <laughs> wow. It's coming, it's coming all over the place. Well, that didn't sound good. What I mean is it's going, it's coming apart all over the place. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. But it's our spider area. It's very disheveled. <laughs> There's quite a few things we had to fix repeatedly. It wasn't that great that it was super tight, I think. Uh, People freak out a little bit too much for it to be that tight. And they were grabbing and flailing and <laughs> freaking out, you know, as people do. And then these things, they were good. Uh, but whenever the walls would get hit, like this one fell a few times and it was completely cracked on one side. And the actors were telling me these were getting stepped on. But, you know, there's a pretty big pile of them right near the exit. So that's what has happened. And then we had either one or two actors, depending on the night, in here. I mean, it's like for the nun, but you don't have to be a nun in here. Had someone kind of, I don't know, devilish slash wendigo looking. I don't know exactly what their masks were <laughs> every time, but 
they were very cool, very effective. <laughs> this poor thing died on the second night. Not only the frame, but also the mechanism itself, not the part up here, but the wood that stops it from going down, so it would go down too far and get stuck. So that needs to be repaired for next year. No problemo. And then we had a few sheets, you know, things come down or whatever. Not that big of a deal. I'm, I'm shocked. Most of the things that were dropped or uh, similar, I guess they were enough of value that people actually came back for them, you know, phones, shoes, etc. Yeah, usually we have a lot of candy and stuff, but uh, I actually don't see it. Creepy. So smashed iPhone. Yeah, there's a there's a just obliterated eyeball in Somebody the eyeball room. Somebody got scared and went boom. Well, with the, the amount of eyeballs that are on the ground, I think people were ripping them I off the walls. Or I think somebody, I think like one of the really scared like groups probably smacked the wall like. Them. Probably. All right, let's take a peek at the food barrels. Covered them up. Ah, thank you, thank you, Tarp, because it's supposed to pour tomorrow or it's rain a bit. Look. At this, three barrels, 100% full. Oh my God, I love it. You're all amazing. This is going to help so many people. Y'all so me? generous. I think the tarp is trying to tell us something. It says, put me back. Yeah, one definitely wanted to get a shot of this before the food bank comes to pick it up and take it to their facility. Plans for 2025 are already in the works. I can't wait. I'm excited. As always, I hope you're excited. As always. And we will see you soon in how-to videos and all sorts of other fun stuff throughout the year leading up to 2025 Haunt. See you soon.